to what extent do you respect students' right to record when they're in school? If they pull out a cell phone and try to record a newsworthy incident, what happens to them? This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... Jesus is the way, the truth, the life. Dot com. And to the empire for which it stands, one torture state under fraud, completely visible, with spying and lying to all. My opinion, I think that this whole policy, and I don't need to hear that you guys are probably more familiar with it than I am, but it is, it does say distracting and so forth in the handbook. I believe it should be presented to the students more as an issue of we are, we are trying to promote a business like atmosphere. Let's not knock another gender, an entire gender of school kids. Number one, every minute of every day in the King School District classroom, all students will be engaged in meaningful, inspiring checks and later on in the day and say, Dan, can you pick me up? I don't want to be here. This is what we want to promote to our students. So you're a principal, is that correct? Yeah, I gotta go, I'm so sorry. To what extent do you respect students' right to record when they're in school? If they pull out a cell phone and try to record a newsworthy incident, what happens to them? Again, do you think it's appropriate for someone who's receiving quite a bit of tax dollars to refuse to answer questions from a taxpayer? On what basis do you make that <laughs> refusal? Shouldn't you answer taxpayer questions when they have questions for you? And what's your name? No. You didn't? No, I got no call. Really? Look at this. You need to look at your phone. Now, limited credit, where limited credit is due, the school board is currently discussing uh, some ways to help keep homeschoolers from accidentally uh, having problems with their credits. I guess there have been allegedly some problems with the homeschoolers uh, you know, thinking they're set to graduate and that something's wrong. Uh, these folks seem to be making an honest attempt to prevent homeschoolers from having that problem. <laughs> However, now, if you look inside the meeting, you'll notice that the Freedom Shrine, such as it is, I haven't actually read what's in the street of Freedom Shrine, it's uh, hidden behind a bunch of chairs. <laughs> That's kind of poignant and symbolic. It's exactly what you'd expect from a government school for freedom to be hidden. If, in fact, the shrine is even really freedom-oriented. Well, I just go to government meetings as a matter of routine if it's convenient Pick logistically. If it's, time, right? if it's time that you can go, you go. Well, is this a time where people are very interested in the police, and as an ancillary to that, they're kind of interested in the government, finally, even local government. And if I can make civics a little bit interesting by asking questions no one else is asking, right. then people will watch in some cases. They won't well, watch yeah. you as much because you're nice. <laughs> so. well, I'm certainly in favor of more any, you know, anything that shows people what goes on. You know? Yeah. Because there's so many people that aren't engaged on any level at all. So that's true. It's a big threat. Engagement is a good thing. I will give more credit where credit is due. The, the board has gotten this far without making any threats to me or putting their hand over the camera or ordering me to stop filming. It's a start. I've also witnessed some stamina on their part. They've already been meeting for three and a half hours. Uh, if you add up all three meetings today, uh, and with, I think, zero absences, I think they were all here today all the board and the top two administrators. 
On the downside, they apparently had two, maybe three meetings that were closed to the public today. Does anybody want some chuck? Porcupine Christians. Even if you don't want to get arrested with them, you might want to hang out with them. Although they don't get that much attention, perfectly normal Christian families are an important part of the Free Stater movement, and pork fest specifically. You'll find a cluster of them at campsites two and four. Drop by if you like. Pork fest is just as accepting of religion as it is of libertines. To learn more, visit Jesus is the way, the truth, the life dot com.